Are you tired of me being fat, Johanna? So tired. <laughs> Except the juicy ass. <laughs> That was my leg day with Netto. All right, it's Thursday morning. First Thursday of 2024. That's better. And I'm walking into destination, but it was in my mind to talk about procrastination a bit. Not more so like I'm preaching, just more so for the same basic purpose of this uh, little documentary I'm doing of my transformation just want to hold myself accountable and unpack some stuff that I'd like to improve upon in the new year procrastination for me is just telling it kind of loosely revolves more or less around telling the truth and just telling the truth to yourself it's kind of reminding yourself of the promises and goals you want to keep for yourself and then <laughs> being truthful to yourself about what you need to do what you need to handle that day it does more or less revolve around telling the truth depending on how you interpret that but yeah procrastination is something that i want to eliminate in my life and then tell the truth in regards to to opinions at work ideas at work and then things like your relationship and then just being honest with every single little choice that comes up in a day and even the ideas that you have in your head your, your thoughts that was a lot of gobbledygook but it made sense to me more or less and it helps to vocalize it for you too but uh, let me know if that makes sense to you anyways i'm on my way to destination i'm gonna link up with netto again we're gonna train legs and i'm gonna be real with it i'm gonna be honest with those reps and uh i'm gonna try to show you what digging into the muscle belly is because I've been able to do that here recently kind of better than I've ever been able to do. Seriously, it's weird. It's like uh, I'm getting into the muscle for the first time. <laughs> Anyways, that's kind of a crazy thing to talk about. But feel for me is everything with bodybuilding training. Sorry, pause the video. Some more context to the purpose of training with Neto. All last prep uh, in 2021, I didn't train with a bodybuilder. So now training with Neto, he's able to look at my form because he's a coach and he knows what to look for. He's able to look at how I'm executing an exercise and give me cues to really target the muscle because I actually have really good connection with all of my leg muscles. But looking back at the competition photos, you can tell the muscle is there, the muscle belly is there. It just needs some attention. So if you check these photos out, yeah, you got a hanging hamstring, I got a decent quad sweep, and I got tiny glutes. So for a big guy, I got pretty decent genetics. I just need to zap them and have a good few months of zapping them. So that's what we're doing here with Neto. Just needed a uh, context. Um, I want to improve my quads, hamstrings, and glutes with the intention of getting back on stage because I love bodybuilding. So, let's go. You just have to brace yourself against the, the pads here. And I want you to think like about the calves going against your hamstring. So you, you gotta try to touch the calves in your hamstring. So just crunch it all the way. Crunch it all the way. So, I was a little bit what? Kind of not going full range of motion? Uh, a little bit short. I feel like you, you are like cheating with your with your body because okay. you are not like bracing yourself. Okay. You are doing like, you know. Yeah. yeah okay. A little bit of yeah. body English. Let's go. Now you're working. Come on. 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 Woo! 
machine? Uh, I like to do like seated because we don't feel our lower back and we'll have a bend right there to take the pressure of the bottom. Okay. So we don't feel any pain in our knees. So today we're doing quad focus, right? Is it is it kind of easy to find the load, the quad? Yeah, it's perfect because all you have to do is find your, our feet position here to drive your knees in front of uh, our feet. Knees in front and that's quad focus. That's quad focus. All right, let's see yeah. if we can illustrate that. Let's go. So what you're doing here, we're trying to find our feet position because when you're getting down, our knees will have to be in front of your feet. So this is quad focus. If you put your feet here, it's my hamstring glutes. So that's where you're gonna find our best feet position. It's right there. It takes discipline to try to find it. You're not just lifting from A to B, but you have to, because most people think uh, bodybuilding is moving from there to there. Bodybuilding is, a big component is getting into the muscle and loading it. Yeah, you it, have yeah? to feel your muscle all the time and to have the entire range of motion. Come on. 
Mara, Mara, come on. Don't give up. Come on. Yo, I got you. Good. One more. Go. Good. Woo. Great set. Great set. No, that's my glutes. Just in your glutes? Yeah. Looks like a squat. Let's go to my quads first. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're going deep. And your glutes are stretching inside yeah. the bottom. So. I'm not mad about it. Uh huh. Let it grow. <laughs> yeah. No problem. I actually need glute muscles. This is just fat back there, man. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Work. Good. Block it. Block it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, you got more. Yo. Come on. Yeah. One more. One more. Come on. You got it. Drive. Good. Where is it? There we go. Great set, man. This one will have to brace more our quads, but right here we won't go with the feet too far down. We'll try to place our feet like neutral to try to hit like both glutes and uh, quads. This uh, we try this one to hit more quad focused, uh -huh. and right now we're gonna try to keep like neutral because our last exercise will be leg extension. True. Finish it back. Nice. And I like to, to program leg press after hack squat because we don't have to brace ourselves. And right here at the leg press, we just sit, relax, and cure our legs. <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. Relax. That's what you're losing. No relaxing. <laughs> Strong. Put your feet closer to show that you weren't going too deep okay. with the feet closer because you are so big. Right. Uh, so for a longer leg, you wanna you wanna give a couple of cues to get more range of motion. Yeah, exactly. Oh, All right, so we're gonna show you the depth differences with how I was first doing it, and then the cues to get more range of motion. Yeah, let's go. Feet closer. Yeah. Right there. So that's how it was before. Go the deepest that you can go. Right there. It's right there. Yeah. Now, so it's like that? Yeah. Feet wider. Open your feet just a little so your knee will follow this line. Okay. And you can go deeper. 
Stop at your bottom just to show. Uh huh. Good. Alright, now 15, huh? Now let's work. Come on. Good. Brace, Nick. Brace. Yeah. Good. Deeper, deeper. You got it. Come on. Don't shoot. Yes. Good. Come on. My way. Come on. Work. Oh, that bird spot. You got it. Come on. Good. Great set. Come on. Come on. You got two more. You got two more. Come on. Don't give up. Come on. Bro. One more. You got it. Yep. Good. Slowing down the weight like that really kills <laughs> yeah. the muscles. Yeah. I have to check my ego. Very deliberate rep. I was doing before you were doing with your uh, your legs was too wide so we're trying to get closer to align your ankle we knee with hips so it's everything aligned don't go too wide here and then a, a second at the top and then a second, a at, second the bottom. at the bottom just to break the momentum don't use the elastic first yeah cool what's that i love this thing why this, this pain is awesome why? Makes us grow. <laughs> yeah, right there. You got it. That was my leg day with Neto, and I'm really enjoying the accountability of the series. And um, yeah, anyways, takeaways from the leg workout. Definitely felt like I could have gone heavier in some reps, in some uh, exercises, but it was great to humble yourself enough to do the cues that Neto was giving. And once you kind of nail those cues and get the sensation in the muscle that it gives, then when you slowly pile on the weight, you grow in that lifting pattern and you keep hitting it right. So with more weight comes uh, more strength, more muscle, and the connection is there from the get-go. So that was one of my takeaways from the leg workout. I'm walking back and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is my third video of uh, enjoying the process, losing weight and getting in shape.